The kind people over at Huion recently sent me their Canvas Pro 16 4K to test out and share my thoughts about their latest flagship creative pen display. In order to truly understand and get a feel for the Canvas Pro 16, I thought I'd challenge myself to create two pieces of artwork roughly using the same subject and project settings. I will digitally paint the first piece from scratch, and then for the second piece I will use those all familiar photo manipulation techniques. I'll aim to spend about two hours on each piece including a bit of post work off camera. I'm curious to see what can be achieved in a similar amount of time with these two different digital art mediums. I've known about Huion for a while now and they are right up there with the very best when it comes to graphics tablets and other tools for digital artists. So it's genuinely exciting for me to put the Canvas Pro 16 to the test. The first thing that stood out to me was the clarity of the screen, which makes sense considering its 4K resolution. The higher resolution means more pixels can fit into the same area and you retain those nice sharp details even when you're zoomed right in. The anti-glare etched glass does a good job for reducing reflections, it also does well to replicate that tactile feel you get when drawing with pen on paper. Something that's immediately clear is just how nice this thing looks, super clean and minimal with no express keys in sight. This means that you'd most likely need a keyboard in reach for your shortcuts or the very very handy Huion mini key dial. What's in the box? Obviously you get the very sleek looking Canvas Pro 16 pen display. You also get a pen, pen holder and case. This comes with 10 pen nibs and a nib clip. The artist glove, all the cables you'd expect and a cleaning cloth and manuals. It also comes with that all important stand which allows for different height adjustments.
pen that comes with the tablet boasts what Huion calls Pentec 3.0. This enhances the reliability and drawing experience, it's battery free and I have to say it feels very natural for me. The smooth action and glide, there's something very satisfying even when painting the simplest of lines. This is my first time ever creating a photo manipulation piece using a pen display tablet. This particular 16 inch model is the perfect size, it feels portable but also provides plenty of working space. My photo manipulation work often requires a lot of going back and forth between the web and my graphic software, searching for assets on the go, so I did find myself having to reach over to my keyboard quite a lot. But with the tablet not being too large, I was able to find a comfortable setup with the tablet and my MacBook side by side.
Going into this, I pretty much figured that the Canvas Pro 16 would be more suited to digital painting and not so much for photo manipulation. But the more I progressed with the photo bash, the more I learned about how versatile the canvas is, and it actually didn't take me too long to get into a good creative flow state. I still feel the Canvas Pro 16 is probably more suited to digital painting or photo retouching, which it really excels at, whereas the less intricate and specific nature of photo manipulation work means at times it just feels a bit unnecessary. I'll definitely be using it for my own digital paint work in the future. For those interested in the Canvas Pro 16 4K and the Mini Kidal KD100, I'll add links to the products in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to stay notified about any new content.